So you guys keep asking me to review clone and inspired fragrances. So today I've got five clone inspired fragrances for summer. Let's do it. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel Intellectual Sense. My name is Dev Jodh. Now today we will be talking about five clone inspired fragrances for summers. Now this is not a top five list. Basically these are the five uh, you know clone fragrances which I've tested and I'm going to sharing result with them. Uh, now if you want to watch my last year top 10 video you can go back and you can watch it but in this format where I'm going to be discussing my testing results it allows me to be critical uh, talk about fragrances which I did not like uh, so it will be kind of a different thing which we are doing so let's start with the first fragrance which I tested now the first fragrance which I tested was Vibrant Orange and Neroli from House of uh, Paris Corner and line is Amir now this particular fragrance is a clone of Byrado Sundays. Now I tested Byrado Sundays when it was originally released back in 2019 at I think at Copenhagen Airport and my thought process was that it's a good scent profile but it's not worth the price which Byrado is asking for. However when I tested this particular fragrance uh, I kind of liked it. Now let me tell you how Sundays smell and how this one smells. Now the Sundays is, smells like, like lemon candy with slight floral touch to it, okay? Uh, it's not that sweet, the balance is pretty good. Whereas, uh, you know, Vibrant Orange and Neroli, this smells more like orange candy. Uh, not lemon candy, but orange candy. The orange part is amped up in this. Now this kind of scent profile is perfect if you are a young guy in your 20s and you want to impress the opposite uh, sex, your girlfriend, uh, you know, you, uh, people around you, then this is a perfect scent profile to wear. Now uh, this lasts close to seven hours with good projection and I think this cost around $15.99 for 100ml. I will highly recommend you if you are into 20s to go for this particular fragrance. I personally won't wear this because I don't like sweet fragrance a lot but I will highly recommend you if you are a young person you want to have this casual fragrance. This is very casual. It's not a very sophisticated fragrance. It's a very casual fragrance. For summers, you can absolutely go for it. So this was my first testing. Orange, Vibrant and Neroli. So the next fragrance is from the house of Luxador and it's Shogu. And it's apparently a clone of uh, Blue de Chanel EDT. Now, when I tested this, to be honest with you, I did not see any, not many similarity to it. Uh, there were some similarities to it, but not many similarities to it. Now, recently I did a video on Blue de Chanel, where I compared all the three formulations of Blue de Chanel, EDT, EDP and Parfum. So I know the smell quite well uh, because uh, I just made a video about that. And this one has got about 10 to 20% of DNA of Blue de Chanel EDT. Rest, it's a totally a different scent. I will call this more of an inspired fragrance uh, rather than a clone of uh, Blue de Chanel. Now, if you buy it thinking that it's a clone, then you will be disappointed. If you buy it, you know, thinking that it's kind of a same scent profile, then you may like this particular uh, fragrance. This is a very good scent profile for summers. A bit soapy with that blue qualities of it uh, very easy to wear you can wear it to office if you want the price point is pretty good uh, it's I think about 1300 rupees for uh, 30 ml and this lasts close to six hours now I, if it lasted more I would have highly recommended you but because the lasting is also quite low about six hours uh, it's all right if you want to go for it like if you want to go for a safe office set then you can go for it but don't buy it thinking it's a clone of Blue Chanel because then you may be disappointed. So this was the next fragrance which I tested. Luxador Shogun. So next up I've got House of Zara. Now this particular fragrance name is Vibrant Leather and I, I bought this particular fragrance last year. Now this particular fragrance uh, is I will say inspired by Creed Aventus. Now if you know about Creed Aventus, if you are an Aventus fan lover, you will know that Creed Aventus has probably three variations to it. Now the first variation is the one which is a pineapple heavy. 
the second variation is where it's more smoke heavy and the third variation is where it's more burst note heavy okay now this particular fragrance vibrant uh, leather is more burst note heavy uh, it does not have very heavy fruity note to it or it does not have that smoke to it but burst note is quite evident along with kind of bergamot kind of pineapple accord which is going through in this it's very enjoyable fragrance the other bit is it's very rich it does not smell synthetic now a lot of you uh, who have tested arma of uh, cd9m which i have also reviewed it will say that it's uh, for first 15 minutes is very synthetic and you're right it's synthetic but this one is from like the way you uh, uh, you know spray it from day, uh, like first minute itself is quite uh, rich and it smells rich throughout its journey and journey is about 6 hours with decent projection so it's perfect for summers perfect for office it's quite unisex anyone can wear it and the price point is very good i think about 1490 for 60 ml so good price point so if you're looking for a kind of a creed eventus inspired fragrance not clone uh, then go for zara vibrant leather perfect for summers go for it so next up i've got indian house and it's house of project alternative and the fragrance name is mega fresh and it's from their centrelic line and it's a clone of judge of mephisto now i've reviewed judge of mephisto also and i've also reviewed one of their best clones which is rasasi alvisam for home uh, now that particular fragrance uh, made it to i think number two last year on my summer clone video the only thing about Alvis and Poor Home is that uh, it was more rose dominant and I've also heard that recently their batches are not very, uh, you know, the longevity and the protection is not the same. So here comes this particular fragrance uh, and this particular fragrance I think it's much closer to Judge of Mephisto than Rasasi Alvisam. Like I said Alvisam has more rose, this one has got the balance of the rose perfectly correct in my opinion. But this targets the Judge of Mephisto dry down, okay? This does not have the opening of Judge of Mephisto, which is very normal actually. Most of the clone makers, they target the dry down rather than the opening and the transition which generally happen. Now, other thing which also about this particular fragrance, which was I impressed was the richness. There is a richness in this particular fragrance, uh, which generally is missing in most of the clones. So it's very rich to wear. It's uh, lasts pretty long, so every Indian clone maker makes sure that their clones generally last. So it's about lasting eight to nine hours and with heavy projection. So if you're looking for a Judge of Mephisto kind of scent profile, which is very easy to wear, you can wear it to office, which works very well in this high heat, which we are having right now, then definitely go for Mega Frash from House of Project Alternative. So the last fragrance which I uh, you know tested was from again Indian house. Uh, it's a house of Excellency Perfumery, and the name of the perfume is the clone of Nishin Wulong Cha. Now I absolutely love Wulong Cha. I have reviewed that particular fragrance on Fragrantica and also on my Instagram channel. Now Wulong Cha is a green tea fragrance uh, it's not a black tea fragrance but more of a green tea fragrance which is very unique um, it you won't smell a uh, lot of fragrances which smells like oolong cha okay and it lasts pretty well uh, it smells very natural and uh, it's very easy to wear in summers now this particular fragrance has captured that scent profile beautifully i can't see any flaw in this particular fragrance because there is a richness to it. The scent profile is almost like 90 to 95 percent same. Okay. The only thing which I was uh, uh, was able to differentiate was the projection in Wulong Cha is much higher. It projects more than this particular fragrance. But other than that, the scent profile is, like I said, is very similar. This lasted good nine hours, and this cost only 650 rupees for 30 ml. So. If you're looking for a Wulong Cha clone or uh, inspired fragrance, then look to Excellency Perfumery Wulong Cha. You will not regret it. So guys, this is my list. I hope you find something uh, good. 
Do you like this particular format as compared to top 5 or top 10? Let me know in the comment section. Until next time, have a wonderful day. Bye-bye. Cheers.